What percentage of marriages in Ukraine have prenup agreements or marriage contracts? Now, let's compare that to the reality of it, okay? Much different story. So here's the actual hard stats in Ukraine. So from 2002 to 2017, there were 15,000 marriage contracts signed in Ukraine and compare that to 250 to 300,000 actually marriages. It works out very uncommon in Ukraine and that's why a lot of Ukrainian people uh, just don't know about the topic and they, they don't know details about the topic. Now, talk a little bit deeper on it. I've spoken to countless Ukrainian ladies over the years and asked them what they think about marriage contract. They don't like them because in the culture here, you know, they believe marriage is sacred. It's, um, you know, they're in love. Uh, they're looking forward to spending the rest of their life with their partner, building a family. They're not looking for the bad to happen. Okay, they're not so guarded like we are in North America. But then again, they really don't have divorce rape here, really. If you mention that term to them, they don't, it translated into Russian, they don't even know what it is. You have to explain to them, what is divorce rape? Now, let's talk about this from another side. Why do they not know about divorce rape and the difference here? Why? It's simple. Because the law is very different in regards to divorce. So here's what the lawyers have told me on consultation with lawyers. Um, they have said that, okay, what the law provides for is that the man and the woman, the assets they enter the marriage with, they will leave with. So let's say you have a million bucks in your name, she has a hundred thousand in, in her name. You will both leave upon divorce with that same million hundred thousand. It's only assets that you've built up, you've accumulated during your marriage, be it one year or 10 year, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's only those assets that will be divided equally. Okay, so you see, it, it's kind of a prenuptial agreement in terms of asset protection built into the system anyway. Now, let's look at specific examples. When you talk to women here, uh, you know, it's just commonplace that women walk away from marriages with nothing. Even if the guy has money, no money, it's just culturally acceptable and it's normal, normalna here, that she walks away with nothing. So really in Ukraine, it's to the man's uh, financial benefit, divorce. Whereas in the West, it's to the woman's overall financial benefit. So you see, completely different here. So hopefully that will shine uh, a light uh, for you here as well. Now let's talk about uh, the other aspect of divorce, child support and alimony. Okay, basically there is no alimony required by law, as I understand it, uh, if you have no children, no alimony. Uh, now, if you have children, are you ready for this? You will have to pay child support to a whopping tune of 50 bucks a month. You heard me right, 50 bucks a month, that's it. Now, can you believe this country still is loaded with deadbeat dads? They can't even pay 50 bucks a month, seriously. There are so many deadbeat dads that the country had to come up with a little bit of um, legal deterrent, uh, a claw. So what they did is they made it so that uh, there's a registry and you cannot fly out of, you cannot leave Ukraine if you're a deadbeat dad and you're behind on your child support. So guys, hopefully that gives you a good picture of prenuptial agreements or marriage contracts in Ukraine to help you make your decision about, um, you know, and dispel some of your concerns. Now, let me bring up one other point. Okay, of course it's gonna be different when you bring her back to America or your home country. Uh, but her mindset is her mindset. That's not going to change, right? She doesn't know about divorce rape, um, generally speaking. And uh, so just knowing her mindset uh, is going to help you out. One last but very important point I almost forgot to mention. Um, a lot of women, I would shudder to say most women in my experience, actually like the idea of a marriage contract or a prenuptial agreement when you approach it like this. Honey, I want you to be protected, you know, uh, and the children so you know what uh, you're going to be taken care of in the event of a divorce uh, with us. And you say to her, I uh, have this idea to protect you by making sure you get this much money per month and the children get this much money. She's going to take comfort in that. She's going to feel actually like you're protecting her uh, more often than not. So if you approach it like that, which is what I strongly advise, if you are going to spring a prenup on her, then you probably 
uh, are going to be viewed in a good light instead of a bad light. So that's a wrap guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I really feel, you know, this is information that's not out there anywhere. So that's why I just had to do this video. And so I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Please, if you could do us a favor and subscribe our channel, click the bell notification icon too. And that way YouTube will notify you when we go live every Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m.